So, what have I been buying this time? Hmm, we'll find out. I'm actually gonna make a prediction. It's my favorite thing to do. I know where this came from. So my prediction is, airbags on top, item in the bottom unprotected. Any bits on this? Anyone wanna agree with me on this or not? Is it wrapped in bubble wrap? Is it protected properly or is it just shoved in the bottom of the box with stuff on top? Let's find out. Oh! Oh no! This, oh, I'm completely ruined now. They've actually done it right this time. First time ever of all these times I've been buying things from this company. First time ever they handled it right. Hard drive, quite an expensive one. This is a eight terabyte Iron Wolf Pro hard drive. This is what I'm using. Now I've got some of these already in my NAS, but I think I've got all the, I think it's Iron Wolf I've got in there. The Iron Wolf Pro's got a slightly better warranty on it, so I'm guessing it's slightly better construction. Never truly know, it might be no difference between the drives, it's a different stick on the front, who knows. This has got a five year warranty compared to the Iron Wolf, which has got a three year warranty, so. Um, so yeah, that's like $20 difference between the two, so yeah, I've got another one. This is for my NAS, where I store all my video archive and uh, my various files and bits of software, and yeah, I was running out of space, so I had to upgrade. The first time ever, they've actually used bubble wrap. Incredible. Last time I got a drive from them, it was sitting in the bottom of the box, unprotected. It survived fine, but yeah. Oh, no. Hmm. Uh, this is, I think, therefore I am. Um, hold on. Okay. 6S. So this is for an iPhone 6S. I think this was a screen extension cable or something like that. So you can plug a screen in and test it. That is male or female, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yep, iPhone screen extension cable for 6S. Don't actually have a specific need for one. I've got an iPhone 6S, as does my wife, and I tend to keep them going for as long as possible because, in my opinion, the 6S is probably the best iPhone made by Apple because it doesn't have all this other stuff which makes it hard to repair. In the encoded screens, the encoded home buttons. Actually, I'm not sure if the 6S has encoded home button or not. I'm not sure. Anyway, but I know it has the headphone port, right? It's got a headphone jack on it, which anything later than that doesn't have. And I use a headphone jack every single day. So I'm going to keep my iPhone 6S working for as long as possible and so any little bits and pieces I can do to help me do that as time goes along then I thought I'd get them whilst I had the opportunity but maybe one day I will need it of course you can always buy another iPhone 6s these days you know used one for very little money or comparative little money yeah anyway I'll just keep what I have working as long as I can that's what my channel's about for a start there'll be links down below for my items as always well for my story items anyway Ah, right, okay, now I'm Got a couple of SMA cables. A test board. And I saw this online, I thought, that yeah, looks interesting. You may notice this looks a bit familiar. Smith chart. That's for reference only, that side. This side here has different components on it. It's an RF demo kit. It's meant for the Nano VNA, which you can buy. How good this is, I really don't know, but it might be good for doing testing of various bits of test equipment. You know, when I'm doing a demo of, of an item for review, so it's got an S21 or S11 measurements on it, maybe I can use it for this, where you can hook up to various components and you'll get a different Smith chart example. Maybe it's something I could you know, use as a test board for that. So, through line, attenuator, levels. Low pass filter, high pass filter, band pass filters, and band stop filter. Yeah, so I thought I'd get one of them. Thought it looked interesting. It wasn't very expensive. I thought it would come in handy for doing review stuff, you know. The amount of times I wish I had some kind of way of doing other testing. And it comes with these, which is a, you know, those little tiny connectors. Fit these boards with an SMA on the end, so you can hook this up to a device. If I need to hook this up to something which has like end connectors on it, I have to also use adapters to go from, from SMA to N, but I'll probably have some way of doing it anyway. I should probably check that. I thought it looked interesting. I'll probably be a link down below for this too. Let's open this up. Uh oh. It's, it's a fluffy one. That was a mistake. Um, There's probably a special way of opening these. I think if I was ripping the end open or something, doesn't it? Oh no, I'm going to get mess everywhere. Who sent me this? <laughs> I know exactly who sent me this. 
and they've done me a favour so I'm appreciative even if it's going to make a huge mess of my bench because I'm probably opening it in a stupid way oh god no just let me in no damn you you know who you are okay so I'm going to get this unpackaged fully and I'll come back and I shall carry on now this was inside the package this may look vaguely familiar to you sock puppet thing best regards all the gear no idea now this is a I suppose a donation from Chris all the gear no idea I'll chuck a link down below to his channel I asked him if he could get me some parts because they wouldn't ship to me in New Zealand they, they I think there's only UK only or something they would do so I contacted Chris hi Chris I know you're watching asked me if he could get me these parts he said yep yeah, sure no problem and he well, got these parts for me I was completely expecting to pay for them I wasn't bothered at all by that I was glad to get the parts Chris actually said don't worry about paying it's fine um, he's basically given to me as a little sponsorship donation thing so thank you very much Chris much appreciated especially when you consider the value of these so this is what he purchased on my behalf and then sent me and gifted me three modules here they are can't see them too well no, I'm not going to open these up I'm going to leave them inside the packet until I actually need them I haven't got a specific use for these right now but I expect I may need one or at least I'll certainly need one in the future I'm sure so I thought I'd get some whilst they're available and now you're going to go well, what are they then well they are these things OM345 OM2045 replacement module for Marconi 2018, 2019 and 2022 ABC wraps around DE and the 2955 RNS I'm guessing maybe Roden Swartz got them in as well then but anyway the reason I've got these is because I've got a 2955 which needs repair I haven't dug into it yet I've got to be doing that at some point once my other priorities come down a bit and I've got other things to do and I've got to get some spare time again I'll be digging this 2955 apart and fixing that remaining fault and I may well need one of these devices to go in there Right, these are substitutes because you can't get the original parts, can't get the original ones, they're just unavailable. And as you can see here, the actual cost of them are ten pounds each. Right? So thirty pounds plus shipping to Chris and also then the cost of shipping to me as well from Chris from the UK. So it's been you know pretty generous here, you know, it's thirty one pounds just for this, plus the poaches, which I think was about ten or fifteen pounds somewhere. Like. Very generous of Chris to do this for me, let me have some parts for free. So thank you very much. And as I say, there'll be a link down below for Chris's channel. I highly recommend you go and check that out. He does some really interesting stuff. He does some good electronics work. I find it really interesting, right? That's a good endorsement, I suppose. I don't know, is it? But I, th I think it is. So he does some really interesting electronics work. He does some quite unusual things. You know, the things he, he comes across, and it's not everyday stuff, so it's quite interesting. And also, it's a bit of a hot rod fascination as well. He's done some work on those and garage and, and mechanical stuff as well. But he does a lot of electronics videos, which are, I find really interesting, as I say. So make sure you go and check out his channel, because um, trust me, you won't regret it. It's, it's good. It's very entertaining as well. He has a bit of a laugh in his videos, and he's, you know, he has chucks little puns in there and little gimmicks and stuff like that. It's, uh, it's very entertaining. I quite enjoy his channel. I'm actually surprised he doesn't have as many subscribers as he does. He's only got about, I think it's 900 and something, last time I looked. And he really deserves a lot more. He, he certainly should have a lot more than he does, because he does have really good content. So go and check him out. Thanks, Chris. I've got no idea what's in this box. It said face mask, but I didn't buy a face mask, so I don't know. <laughs> Let's find out together. I've got no idea what's in here. Ah, oh, okay, right. Yes, it is a face mask. Now I know what this is. This isn't for me, this is a present for stepson. That's actually quite heavy. Well, oh, it's actually a proper strap on mask. I suppose you know if you want to go around screwing the crap out of people, it's a great thing. But uh, yeah, okay, I'll put that back away. That's not for me. That's for somebody else. Shh, don't tell them. Subscribe, click the bell icon. Make sure you click the bell icon. Watch my other videos. Share the video. Comment down below. All these things, all these little things I ask you to do, um, they all help my channel. And I don't know what the hell has been going on, but my channel hasn't been growing at the same rate as it was it slowed right down I don't know what's going on with YouTube but other channels which are similar to mine and do similar content they've been they've continued to grow at the same rate and actually got an exponential growth like I was getting until it stopped so 
Yes, I'm still growing, but it's nowhere near the same rate as I was growing at. It's a bit weird. So I need all the help I can get to get the channel back on its feet and pushing up again. It's a bit, I don't know, disappointing, I suppose, in how the channel's been performing compared to what I think it should be doing. I mean, that's always hard to do, isn't it? I mean, it you know, yeah, it's as good as I think it is. I don't know. But if anyone's not familiar with Voltlog's channel, go and check him out too. It's, it's a good channel. Does some interesting stuff. He does a lot of mailbag videos, very similar sorts of things that I do. Sometimes you actually get the same kinds of items. It's quite funny. The amount of times that's happened, he's bought something. It's been the same thing I've just done a video on, or you know, or just purchased or something like. It happens quite a lot. So go and check his channel out too. Um, Voltlog. He's got like eighteen thousand subscribers now. I think something like that. Not, not, mind you, by the time you see his video, it's probably going to be twenty thousand subscribers. But his channel's just taken off. We did have very similar subscriber numbers for a very long time. We're basically coming up together in the ranks, you know. And um, suddenly my channel slowed down, and his took off, and I don't know what's going on, but there's some other channels as well that's happened to, so I need all the help I can get to get this channel good, you know, give me likes and, and sharing the video and comments down below, all that sort of stuff, any activity on the video helps to push it to YouTube that people like to watch it, so I really do appreciate it if you can do anything like that. Watching the whole video especially, that's always really helpful, so if you're still watching right now, thank you very much, you're a great person. It does help, honestly. The watch time does help to push my channel to YouTube, but I don't know what's going on there. It's something weird. It doesn't seem to make sense the way it was growing really well, then suddenly it just plateaued and hasn't grown in numbers. In fact, it's actually shrunk slightly since July. So it's actually plateaued and it's actually gone down a little bit. I was getting around 400, 500 subscribers a month, and it's sitting now around 260 or so. So that gives you an idea what's happened to it, whereas other channels have been taken off and they're getting like a thousand. So, yeah. Go figure. Even channels which I'd overtaken are now catching up to me again. It's just frustrating. Anyway, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm, I'm producing the best content I think I can. I'm trying to keep it interesting for you guys. Listen to your feedback and that sort of stuff. And I'm, I'm, I try and keep a variety of things going, as you've probably seen. Anyway, that's just me expressing my opinions about the way the channel's going, I suppose. It's okay, but I'm not happy with it. You know, it's not doing as well as I think it should be doing. So... Alright, catch you later. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next one. Bye. So all the buying... Oh.